What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be running through fixing an error that you could be receiving that looks something like this. If you see this, an error has occurred during setup, please reinstall your game. What exactly can we do to try and fix it without obviously reinstalling our game? Well, the answer is really simple. So there's a couple of fixes that we'll need to apply. We'll manually install different things, but the most common one that most of you will have is that you're missing the Windows Media Feature Pack. This is something you'll need to download separately and is the fix that you'll mostly see across the EA Technical Issues forum, especially if you're running Windows 10 N versions. Hit Start, open up Settings, then inside of here, head into Apps, Apps and Features, then Optional Features over here, then search for, then click add a feature. In here, we'll be searching for media and you'll simply need to install the media feature pack. Of course, if you don't have it showing here and you're not running Windows 10 N, then there's nothing you need to worry about. The same thing should apply on Windows 11, though I'm not sure how exactly you download the media feature pack, but that's what you probably need to install if you're running Windows 11 N versions. With that out of the way, if you're not using Windows N versions or that fix didn't work for you, there's a couple of other things that we can try. Simply open up your game's directory. If you downloaded it on Steam, right click, manage, browse local files, or if you downloaded it on Origin or through other means, open up the files from there. You should see an underscore installer folder, which we can open up and we'll find a bunch of files inside of it. If you don't see this folder, in the description down below, you'll find download links for each of these bits of software. Inside of the VC folder here, we have VC 2015, Redist, and we have two files in here. This is the Visual C++ runtime, which you'll find a link to down below if you don't have these files. Open up X64, I agree, and install, and wait for it to finish. Though of course I already have this installed, so this won't run for me. Then do the same for X86 here, agree and install. Once you've installed both of those, either by running them from the game files or by downloading them and running them that way, try and see if your game has been fixed. Otherwise, if it doesn't work, we can try updating DirectX. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the DirectX website. You'll see DirectX end user runtime web installer. Simply click download here and then wait for the download to finish. We'll be opening this up in just a second. Hold Start and press E to open up a new file browser and we'll navigate into C, Windows, System32 and we'll simply look for D3D Compiler 43.dll. So D3D Compiler 43.dll as such. All you have to do is cut this file and move it to a different folder. We won't be deleting this just in case the setup doesn't work properly and we don't get it back. For this, I'll place it on my desktop. When that's done, open up DX Web Setup, accept and follow through with the installation, of course, unchecking any Bing bars and different ads that you may find in the program. Next, wait for it to download, wait for it to install, and finally finish. Now, checking back in that folder, you should see a fresh D3D compiler 43.dll here. This is the one that Battlefield 2042 uses, as far as I've heard, from Reddit and the forum. That's why we moved it out of the folder just so we could get a fresh copy in case something went wrong with it. When you're happy with the new version here and your game works, you can delete the packet that we made and we're done. Now, of course, try and launch up your game and see if it works properly. Otherwise, we can try running Windows Update and verifying the game, of course. Open up Steam or Origin, right-click the game, Properties, Local Files, and Verify. Or on Origin, right-click the game and click Repair. Another thing that we can try is reinstalling EAC. Head across the Battlefield 2042 folder and inside of here, open the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. Run the setup and then click Repair Service over here or you can try and uninstall it and then reinstall it. Though that's what Repair Service does for you. Currently it says Game 609, but this will likely change in the future to be Battlefield 2042. At this point, things should be working properly and you'll be able to play the game. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.